And now to the tragedy and horror unfolding inside a northwest Oklahoma City home. Police say a father murdered his estranged wife and three young children ages 2, 5, and 9 before turning the gun on himself. Officers have left the scene near Northwest 5th and Greenville but say the investigation is still far from over. It started late last night when a family member found Cassandra Flores and two children dead from gunshot wounds. A third child, along with their father, Ruben Armendarez, were rushed to the hospital, still alive, but later died. Family friends. He was just bothering her a lot and was more worried about, you know, her than the kids. And um, but he was really depressed. And it's just not real. I mean, I just I never expected that of Ruben at all. Like he's he was so quiet. The couple met as teenagers, but tonight a different family friend shedding new light on their relationship. News 9's Chris Hugh live with the latest from the scene. Chris. Yeah, Carl and Amanda, the scene of the murder suicide at that home behind me on Northwest 5th Terrace is cleared, but what's still unclear is the motive. Regardless, friends say what they do know is that those three children meant everything to their mother. Their mother was 29-year-old Cassie Flores. I'm in shock. I can't believe she's gone. And having known her for 13 years, childhood friend Morgan Bryant. Recently, they just came back from Houston. They went to the Rainforest uh, Cafe. She said the kids always wanted to go there, so she took them. Bryant remembering Flores not just as a dedicated mother of three, but as being dedicated to everyone around her. When I was pregnant with my first son, she was there for me. She, I was scared being a first time mom. She told me it'd be okay. She was a young mom herself. Brian says she was stunned after learning that Flores and her three children were shot and killed Wednesday night. She says the accused shooter and father of the kids, Ruben Armanderas, had not been good to Flores. They always fought. So Brian wants to raise awareness about domestic violence. They were together for years and he's changed. And so um, if you're in a bad relationship, just leave so you don't get hurt. Although Flores' life was taken, these toys on the front steps, symbols of the love she gave. We will never forget about you. You're still here in our hearts, um, especially the kids. They're with you. Brian said she had known Flores since Brian was just nine years old. In fact, they grew up in this very neighborhood together. Brian said she had already met Flores' two eldest children. She had been hoping to meet two-year-old Matthias as well. Live in Oklahoma City, Chris Hugh, Oklahoma's own News mm -hmm. 9.